Hey guys, so I'm going to show you guys how I make my shirts. I always get a lot of questions on how I make my shirts and what products I use. thought I'd put this video together just explaining on everything that I use and just a demonstration on how I make my shirts from the beginning to the end. So first I'm going to show you the products that I use. Um, I use these ones right here. These are the Avery fabric transfers that I get from Walmart. They're kind of expensive in a way. They're like $13 and they only come with like 5 um, sheets. So yeah, they're kind of expensive. But if you really, really, really want to make shirts, then you should like get these ones. They're like so far, they're the best ones that I've tried because other other ones that I tried, they're kind of like really bad when you wash it. They kind of rip up and stuff. But these ones have been pretty good on me. Um, they come in five sheets, and I got the dark one to print on on dark shirts, and the regular stretchable ones. Um, stretchable ones are more for the light fabrics, which is weird. I don't know why, but yeah, I use these ones. And you have to get two different kinds. If you're printing on dark shirts, you gotta get the one for dark, and then vice versa, you need to get the light for lighter color shirts. Um, I don't know why they make it like that, they just do, but they both work differently, just to remember and point out. Yeah, they both, eh, they both work differently, and yeah. So you can find these at like Walmart or like Long's, I think Office Max, I'm not sure. These ones are pretty good. Um, I kind of recommend these ones. Um, shirts, if you're choosing like a t-shirt or a tank top or for girls, you want to get like a tube top, um, just make sure you get at least cotton material. Um, I tried doing on top, um, I think nylon or something. Was it nylon? It's like a different kind of material and it stayed on but not too well. But just make sure you get cotton material. You can pretty much get like a sweater or like just any kind of thing. But as long as it's cotton, it stays and works best on cotton. So anywhere like Hanes shirts or like um, the American Apparel shirts or any type of shirt, as long as it's cotton, it's pretty good. And one more thing you need like very like important, like the big things, what you need and without it you can't really make a shirt is you need an iron. You need like a basic iron, but then when you set it, you need to make sure it's on a cotton setting and has like no steam. Um, I don't know it's just the way the sheet works but yeah you need an iron and um you don't need the board the ironing board if you don't want i just use the ground i do it thing that i like to point out making these shirts aren't like rocket science they're very easy i just need your imagination and whatever you want to print out i will show you guys a demonstration right about now okay so here's a picture that i drew um a couple of years ago i think and i just wanted to put it on a shirt um i did it before but my shirt didn't come out very well because i wasn't really into making shirts so now so here's a shirt i mean here's my drawing and it's just a hand like a peace sign and it's like a little peace tattoo right there and it's a circle around it so that way the hand will stand out and this one i actually came up with on my own and um, this hand is actually my hand i just tried to um look at it and draw it i'm not really very good at fingers so this is the best i could do um so yeah so after i draw my pictures i will usually go to the printer and scan on on the printer and put it on my computer so that way i can edit it and you know i can edit it and make it darker fix up any um, flaws and stuff like that so once it's on the computer then i can go and edit it um this one is already edited because it was made already um so yeah here it is here's my drawing if you look at it really good it kind of looks like regular um like graphic art that you find like on tumblr or just anywhere but yeah this is my drawing my original drawing so my work and yeah so i just use um when i used to edit is I use um, Photoshop elements. I don't have the regular Photoshop it's because it's too expensive. I can't afford it so I use the best next thing which is Photoshop elements. And I use that and I just edit it and you know if you compare the drawing to the drawing to the actual like editor work you can definitely see a major difference. A lot better on the editing one. And yeah so from then on um, I go ahead and print it. Now that I'm about to go ahead and print it out, um, it depends on what shirt, I mean, what kind of shirt you want to print out on. So, if you want to print out on a white shirt, which is what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, gonna need to use Photoshop, not Photoshop, uh, Microsoft Publisher because I need to flip the image. And in order to do so, I need to use this. Um, you don't have to use it, but I find it easier to just go through Publisher and open up the drawing that I want. So I'm just going to look for the drawing here, and I got it there, and there you see my drawing, 
and because I want it to be kind of big because at the um, sheet it's not really that big so I want it to be bigger so I'm going to crop it a little more and you have to flip your image if you're printing out on a white I mean a light shirt uh, most light fabric transfers require flipping so what I normally do is I flip the image this way I need to make sure the width is the same as um, what you have on before so I just do it like that and once I flip it I turn it over like that and put it onto place on this sheet and I can't make it any more bigger because it's going to go off the sheet so this is the best I could make it unless you want to make it longer but I'm just going to keep it like this and this is basically the size of the paper that you're going to be printing out on and that's basically it for if you're going to print it out and then from then on we're going to go to the printer and we're going to print it out oh yeah for the printer there is a requirement for these kind of things um, mainly fabric transfers require an inkjet printer so I have an inkjet printer right here and here's my sheet and when you stick it in you want to make sure it's going this way not um, this way so you're gonna put it in the printer like um, that so yeah just make sure it's nice and um, good like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and print out the sheet sure you kind of have like a lot of ink in your printer um, that's another thing you want to make sure you have a lot of ink and it is kind of expensive to make your own shirts because the ink is expensive and it uses up a lot a lot of ink so yeah um, you'll see when I print it out. Yes. This was a lot of black ink used. And if you are low on ink and you're trying to print it out, you're most likely going to have like a lot of lines on it, which you don't want. into a muscle tee and you know, just kind of make it my own then just keep on watching <laughs> show it like right now okay so that's the end of the video i hope you guys picked up a lot of good tips on how to make you guys own shirts um if you guys do make it please tag me in it because i would love to see it and yeah so just wanted to wish you guys good luck and i'll see you guys in my next video bye